So the Kenobi series just got real interesting. Now it's been a week since the official trailer of the Obi-Wan Kenobi series was released. The show will premiere on May 25th on Disney Plus. And this show is going to be so amazing. The trailer looks so dope. I am super excited for this show. Let's get into it. The fight is done. We lost. Stay hidden. The key to hunting Jedi is patience. Oh my god, that opening shot just gives me goosebumps, like legit. It gives me goosebumps. I'm such a huge Star Wars fan. And to just hear Obi-Wan saying that they lost and, you know, he's referring to the Order 66, you know, in Revenge of the Sith, the uh, Emperor puts out the uh, Order 66 to take out all the Jedis so that the Sith can rule the galaxy. And that's is pretty much the beginning of the Empire. So um, if you watch Star Wars Rebels, which is the uh, cartoons, um, that's also on Disney Plus, which you can catch if you haven't watched it. It pretty much all ties in. It's all canon. So um, we see the Grand Inquisitor, who is pretty much the Jedi Hunter uh, for the Emperor. So um, that's excited to see him in live action. We see young Luke um, pretty much um, on the Skywalker compound there in Tatooine. So that's exciting. You know, he's in the shadows pretty much watching over Luke, making sure that he's good. So that's freaking fire. Like, oh my God. And then we hear John Williams' Duel of the Fates. That is a, like, amazing composition in the Star Wars franchise. Um, especially, you know, when we first heard it in The Phantom Menace. Uh, when Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan first battled uh, Darth Maul. So that is just real dope. Entertainment Weekly did a piece on the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. There are some additional uh, photos of the series. As you can see here, uh, we see Obi-Wan in Tatooine. There's also a shot that we see him in a cave. Now, this shot is very important um, because I have a really huge feeling that uh, Obi-Wan is going to uh, communicate with Qui-Gon as a force ghost. Now, if this happens, <sighs> my head is going to explode because uh, Liam Neeson was asked if he was going to be a part of the series. And he did deny um, having anything to do with the show. Um, but if they keep it a secret and we see this, this is going to be so huge. Because if you remember in Revenge of the Sith... We saw this scene. Wait a moment. In your solitude on Tatooine, training I have for you. Training? An old friend has learned the path to immortality. One who has returned from the netherworld of the Force, your old master. Qui-Gon? How to commune with him, I will teach you. Now, Entertainment Weekly also said that this will be the rematch of the century. Now, we have concept art here of Obi-Wan fighting Darth Vader in the show. And this is going to be super huge because we all know that Hayden Christensen is coming back as Darth Vader. We see here, um, this photo is a shot from the article on E! Weekly. And, um, my God, he looks amazing. Like, just seeing Darth Vader in, in, this, in this picture here is so dope. And Hayden Christensen did mention that we are going to see a very powerful Darth Vader. Um, Obi-Wan doesn't know that uh, Anakin survived um, their battle. So, I just want to see his reaction when he finds out that Vader is alive 
and just to see them go at it again like is gonna be so huge in this show and i am so excited for this and i just can't wait it's gonna be such an amazing show so may 25th cannot come any sooner i hope you guys enjoy it